All right, let's go recruit the most pointless character in this fucking game. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship. And I just I hate her because she's literally me. just uh, Jessica Chobot forced into the game. Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. And this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how we need out. her. I'll fill you in on that later. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Mass Effect 3 is all about resort, uh, about having resources. We'll get into that when that's actually explained. Yeah, war asset acquired. Oh, I got Alliance funding. And more Alliance funding. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data factor No, I finished that mission. No, I, no, right, you're right, I didn't. It doesn't matter. You, uh, all it accounts to finishing that mission is you get a message in Mass Effect 2 that the guy literally says, hmm, there's strange data, like they could almost override the uh, Citadel or something. You know, the thing that happens at the climax of Mass Effect 1. Uh, before we go to the embassies, let's check out the hospital, because we have more people to recruit. <laughs> We got to go recruit an old friend. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Ooh, first supplies. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Thank you for shopping. Oh, there she is. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus synthetic on Mars. <gasps> Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors. Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with Welcome you. Welcome aboard. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma cluster to incoming mutants. All must be approved by Is there anyone in here I can talk to? I'll 
There's nothing in here. Nothing in here. Oh, there's Ashley. You're not who I was looking for, but I'll talk to you. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Made me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Oh, I went backwards. I meant to go forwards. I'm sorry, was that disgraced Specter Shepherd? I'm sorry, what? Places a pillow on her face. Oh, where it's so easy. Trust me, where it's so easy. I mean, Welcome. the only bad shit we did was join Cerberus. Oh yeah, and we did blow up that entire Batarian colony. Right. I kind of forgot about that part. It kind of sucks if you don't play that. If you don't play that DLC, it doesn't feel as impactful. The reason that you got like uh, you got pulled, they're just like when you joined with Cerberus, they didn't know what to do with you. And I'm just like, really? That doesn't seem nearly as as bad as I blew up an entire planet. So that's the other good thing. The game takes into account that you've played the DLCs. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the... I will say, though, the only thing that's stupid is regardless if you played the Shadow Broker DLC or not, Liara is still the Shadow Broker in Mass Effect 3. The explanation is that she just found the information on her own and did all that on her own in between the six months. Barazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. I don't care. Damn press. See, you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. 
Don't lose your edge. We might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Well, that was depressing, but true. Uh, what's in here? Spectre terminal. Spectre information processing center. The terminal offers secure information access. Okay, quarry and fleet intel. Quarry and pilgrim, Jean and Nima on the Citadel received a large credit transfer from the fleet. Purchase tech including high end weapon mounts and connect barrier emitters from several ship service centers. On Ilium, another quarry and pilgrim unidentified was observed searching for a ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. The pilgrim was later heard saying that his pilgrimage was recalled. Data suggests the Quarian fleet is withdrawing its pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near the Perseus Vale. This could be a reaction to the Reaper invasion, but no formal offer or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests the Quarians may instead be preparing for conflict with the Geth. Oh, it's not a side quest. Spoilers? That's a main quest. Like I said, Mass Effect 3 is where everything comes full circle. How it handles that full circle is well up to interpretation, but for the most part, expect resolution on most things. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Counselor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. <laughs> this is going well. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. Ah, they were but missing they the uh, Linkin Park album that was very divisive. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. At least I think that was the name of the Linkin Park album. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that... Nah, that's hybrid theory. Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. 
I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. <laughs> Otherwise known as go to these people's Shepard, planets and help them first. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. You're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. <laughs> You're one to talk, Odina. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Bedorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future, the fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? Valid argument. <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you... We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good Bitchin. Well, that went well. Could have gone worse. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. All right, looks like we're heading to one of Palavan's moons. Oh, for fuck's sake. Commander we gotta do this a third time. <laughs> Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ha! You want some? Ugh. You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. <laughs> Slow walk away. Didn't get to punch her, but I headbutted her. Does that work? I think Rex would be happy. Oh man, you do know what that means, right, uh, gamer? We have to call a war summit of all the races. Now arriving at docking bay D24. That includes the Krogan. All right, these. Uh, I was never fond of these in the game. They're okay, but uh, they're not necessary.
Also, no, I cannot make her go any faster. Basically, I'm having nightmares. I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. <laughs> Keith David is good and all, but uh, you've been through two games and aren't dead yet. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, Edie. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive... <laughs> Your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. Uh, she's every sexual. Temple. I don't know the proper term for it, but yes, the she goes every which way. Different Mission races, genders, everything. Access. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you. At the I'm sure he would. He has to explain to me my next mission and my DLC. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. 
Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. I'll explain this better after he's done. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Okay, so remember that war asset that we got? Yeah, so that's not just a thing for the actual game. Um, that's an actual in-game mechanic. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. Having, of course, a good enough percentage will affect just how well you do in the uh, battle. And this includes everything that you can recruit in this game. And it spans the whole lot of Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, even the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer factors into this this is basically the end game it's do or die i mean we're in the third game of a trilogy <laughs> it's fight against our enemies or be no more Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. All right. That's another thing we should go do before uh, the other place. Uh, let's see. What have we got? Special ops. Alliance forces stretch thin across the galaxy. We need your specific talents for a series of ops. These missions will open doors for the Alliance. Yeah, side quest. Reinstatement. I have been reinstated. Emergency flash. Galaxy wide alert. Human territories. Fleet. All Alliance. Yeah. Quarian Fleet. Where is the Quarian Fleet? The latest intelligence shows that the Reapers are taking systems after seeming in favorite pace. As all races fleeing the station home world, the kind of forced exodus might seem especially familiar. The Quarians are up to, they want to keep it, se they kept it secret from the council and are refusing to stop after refueling at Ilium. Hmm. You have an upgrade waiting. All right. And priority mission, Eden Prime. Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime and is now occupying the colony. Alliance forces are stretching stretched too thin now to attempt to liberate the colony. We've been doing what we can to cover covertly aid the local resistance. In the process, we've learned that Cerberus has uncovered a major Prothean artifact. We don't know what it is, but it appears to be the reason for the attack on the colony. We need to infiltrate the colony and recover the artifact. So before we get to that, we also need to go stop off at uh yeah here we go. We need to go stop off and see Liara because with her and her shadow broker stuff, she also has a bunch of crap that we can uh, do to upgrade shit and stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, here's a memoriam for everyone who's died. And this includes everyone across the games. You'll notice uh, even Caden's name is there.
And more people get added to this the more people that die across the games. So if you lost anyone in the suicide mission, their name would also be there.